Hi everybody, that's Allie. And that is Dash. Welcome to our play date. Where we choose a game, sometimes make up our own rules, and play for a while. Enjoy listening and playing along. Or don't. We can't hear you. It's a podcast. Hey, little ghosties. <laughs> hey, ghosties. Today we are going to play a game called Utter Nonsense. Yes. Uh, I believe I got this game as a gift at some point. Dash, mm -hmm. who, who makes the game? It is made by Utter Nonsense. Made by Utter Nonsense. And it's a, it was funded with Kickstarter, so it's an independent game. Okay, great. Great. Yeah. I did not fund it. I definitely got this as, as a gift. So, uh, the premise of the game is there are a bunch of what they call accent cards, but mm. most of them aren't accents. Yeah. Few of them are accents. They're just ways of speaking or something sure. you should do with your voice. Mm -hmm. And then there's a bunch of phrase cards. So it is one of those games where you do the thing and then somebody judges. Right. But I feel like for uh, our two player purposes, we'll just, um, you know, choose an accent maybe from mm -hmm. the pile. Right. And then uh, we each get five phrase cards and then oh. you pick what phrase you want to say in that accent. Okay. And I will score you one to five. Gotcha. So we get what we're going to get. For the purposes of, because you know we make up our own rules here right. on this show. So, uh, are we just going to get one accent card and then pick a phrase card? Yeah. I like, and I, then I'll give you a score. Okay, I like games like this for the podcast because they're very vocal and audio yes. centered. Yeah, this is a very audio focused mm -hmm. game. However, there is a way to catch us on video because now you can watch us on Spotify and YouTube. To catch a video version of our podcast. Essentially, it's the same thing, except you can see Allie's beautiful face in my mediocre one. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for that. And you can see the fact that we wear matching shirts yes. every time we record. Yeah. Yeah, we do. <laughs> you miss that little tidbit when you're not Yeah. Fun fact, watching we the videos. always wear matching shirts when we mm -hmm. record. There's also a bunch of like cool toys around and I've got lights and everything. It's real nice. It is a visual extravaganza. <laughs> tis. Tis. Um, so our scale. Let's say one is it sounded exactly like you. Mm -hmm. And five is if I closed my eyes, I was transported thoroughly. So one through five? One through five. Okay. Yeah. Let's, I mean, 10 is, it's too many increments, right? Sure. Yeah. yeah. 10 is too many increments. Okay. Okay. So, so let's, we're just going to pick from the top? I guess so. I yeah. was thinking You're like a go cut? fish you style. Cut the like deck? just put a, just put a just big do old like a messy pile. Sort yeah, of like pile a messy and... pile. Okay. All right. A look Lionel at, at Messi you. pile. Ah, yeah. Lionel Messi now coming to Miami. Yeah. We called him for the pod, but yeah. he hasn't responded back. So. Which means traffic is going to be horrible. But isn't the new stadium closer to Fort Lauderdale than... Where are they building a new stadium? The soccer stadium. I, I, I think it's in closer to Is Fort it? Lauderdale okay. than Maybe. Here. I just yeah. saw a thing on the news where they're like, we got to make more seats now. And Fort Lauderdale's <laughs> like, pause, what? <laughs> Is that, you know, mm -hmm. safe? And they were like, but messy and seats. <laughs> this will be old news by the time you listen mm -hmm. to this, Ghosties. But anyway, yeah. it's big news here. I know they're building a new stadium down here that's supposed to be for the University of Miami. Oh, really? Yeah, that one's going to be right at Tropical Park. Oh, wow. Right down the street, yeah. Okay. That's great, because I've been to a couple UM games, and you have to, like, get on a bus and... Yeah. Where really... do they play? They play in Miami Lakes they at the Dolphin far. Stadium. Yeah. They play far. Yeah. Now you have to... Now they're going to play right here in our, you know, in the Miami's backyard. Okay. Fun. Yeah. With all the stadiums. Uh -huh. All the sports <laughs> ball everywhere. Well, but they're also going to put, like, soccer fields, and they're going to revamp all of Tropical Park to make it nice and put, I put think a parking Tropical garage Park there. It is nice. It is. It is, yeah. It's huge. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. It is nice, though. Uh -huh. So, Dash, you want to pick an accent from our... I will pick an accent. And our, our lake of accents. Our accent is a surfer accent. Surfer accent. Sur so Surfer accent. Let's... How, you do a phrase, and I'll do a phrase. So, okay. you do a phrase, and I'll grade you, and then I'll do a phrase in a surfer accent. All right. <laughs> okay. I have chosen my phrase. Okay. To do in a surfer accent. So <clears throat> here's one of the things I learned in, in improv acting school is that when you want to jump into certain accents, you have you have to you have like a file system in your yeah. head. Yes. And one of the things you want is a phrase that you can go to to mm -hmm. kickstart that accent. Um, so for surfer, that phrase is is gonna be something like, whoa, dude. Right? Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so now that I've kicked off that, so I'm gonna kick it off and go, whoa, dude. 
Oh, yeah, right there. That's the spot. That's the church where our father and I first met. Our father and I first met? Where your father and I first met. Because I, w- I was like, is it the one who art in heaven or is it, are you my mom in this no, scenario? No, I'm your mom in this You're scenario. You're my mom in this scenario. You're but my I'm, surfer mom. I'm your surfer mom in this scenario. Great. <laughs> I, I'm i giving that a four. Okay, I'm going to give that a four. That was a solid effort. All right. I think it was very funny. Excellent. Thank you. And I wanted it to be our father who art in heaven. Uh-huh. Like a, a surfer <laughs> A surfer devotee yeah, the, to the Lord. The church aspect on the phrase kind of throw us off. Okay. Yeah. So I uh, I have also chosen a phrase. Okay. Go for it. Life is like a wave, bro. Sometimes you shred the wave and sometimes the wave shreds you. All right. I'm going to give that a three. Excuse me. Uh, uh, let me explain why. Uh, number one, you sort of shifted into a Valley Girl accent at the end from the surfer accent. Uh, but number two, you totally picked a phrase yeah. that was surfer related. It's, Where's the challenge? It's called strategy. I could have bro. picked, no, I could have picked one of those two. It's called strategy. Uh-huh. And I did not. I chose a, stra- a harder phrase to go with. I think there gotta, not, there's not an artistic score here. It's I, just a one through five. I don't know. I think if so, if we were playing this in a large group of people, it's called strategy. And I had to decide between two people. I would pick the one that did the harder job. Okay. That's your judging. That's style. yeah, that's right. That is my judging style. And since I'm judging, but I, you <laughs> I am now at a disadvantage because you're mean <laughs> at judging. <laughs> I'm not mean at You're mean judging. at judging. That's what you just said. <laughs> I'm just a harsh okay. judge. I'm a, I'm a strict So here judge. is a, an Italian. This is an actual accent. An Italian accent. An Italian accent. Yes. An Italian accent. Let's see. What's the passphrase for that one? Uh, <clears throat> Ciao, bella. For me, Ciao it's bella. manja. Manja, manja. Manja, Ciao, manja. Bella. Okay. Uh, and for the record, Ali and I are European Latino based, so we're trying not to. I get, I get that I look Italian a lot. Yeah, like uh-huh. when I was in when I was in Italy, I could have passed for Italian. Right, I think it's the yeah. eyebrows. It is. Yeah, it's the, it's the eyebrows, <laughs> and it's the slight olive tones mm-hmm. to my skin mm-hmm. yeah. from from my Cuban father. Right. <laughs> okay, so let's pick our phrases. Uh, let's see. Okay, I think I've got mine, but you go first this time. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't call you back. I had a super busy day at the office watching Charles in Charge from my sling box. <laughs> okay, I'll give it a four. Thank you. It was good. The only thing that was lacking was it was a little bit Dracula. Uh, no, Dracula is down here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, T-Bird. Uh, it was the same accent. Uh, Dracula is like... <laughs> Dracula for me is the count from Sesame Street. Oh, 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 oh. Like, why? <laughs> is it just because he's a vampire? Yeah. Is that why? The, literally the only reason why. Oh, 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 One. One. One tomato. <laughs> One accent. Oh, 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 oh. So I saw this joke the other day that was like, uh, who's your favorite vampire? And somebody goes, oh, the 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 uh the count from sesame street and somebody goes what he doesn't count oh i assure you he does he does yes (laughs) he does indeed okay so here's my phrase ready let's see let's go into our past phrase ciao bella ciao okay here we go Uh, dude you ever think about how elbows are knees for your arms i do think about that (laughs) i do okay what do you give me that was great uh, you use your hands though, which I felt was like slightly cheating. Why you have to? You, know, you have to. It's you Italian have to, accent. but I didn't. True. I didn't. I I went for the purity of it. <laughs> Just so pure audio. I'm putting my discards on top of the box. Oh, okay. Okay, let's do that. And then I don't know where you want to put. The well, accents. you get to keep that one if you win. Oh. And I, I'll, I'll say you won that one. Okay. What do you think, Ghosties? 
You tell us who you think wins this My game. My phrase was just funnier. Your I phrase think. was funnier, yeah. My phrase was funnier. Yeah. All right, I'm going to flip over. And some card. of these phrases are clearly tailored to certain yeah, accents. Right. Well, which is why I said right, you right, right. the surfer one. Yeah. No, but it's Like, there's clear, there was clearly Italian ones in here. Uh, Canadian. <laughs> Canadian. Oh, oh man. Oh, oh. <laughs> That's am I, are we gonna hear this every time yeah every time yes no oh, it's it's more wisconsin than it is canadian yes right? it is eh? uh let's see what do you what do you guys are you refilling your hand by the way yeah yeah, yeah i am okay yeah. I'm, like, I have five you i have five cards okay uh let's see um what's it all about eh <laughs> okay i'll try whatever if it's whether i'm good or there's not like, but there's also <laughs> just like a weird liminal <laughs> space of like because I mean, you've never been to the UP of Michigan, but no, <laughs> the Upers have a very I'm Canadian. Sorry, the Upers, yeah, they're called Upers. Explain what the UP is to our fans. The Upper Peninsula of Michigan, right? Because Michigan is split into it's two. Split in, yes, Michigan is two pen peninsulas. Uh huh. Connected by a, a five mile long bridge called the Mackinac Bridge with a lake in between. Uh, yeah, lakes all around, uh -huh. really. Mm -hmm. Um, that's why they're peninsulas, right? Lakes right. all around, lakes all around, right? And um, the Upper Peninsula, the people who live up there are called Upers. You, the UP. Do they call themselves Upers, yes, or does everybody do. else? Okay, yes, they, they do. call themselves Upers. Yes. Okay. And they call it. The, I don't know if they call us trolls because we're from under the bridge, <laughs> but that's the that's the Michigan thing. Is they call us trolls because we're we're from under the bridge, right? And they're the Upers. And the underbridge Michigans are shaped like a mitten. And the the top one is sort of like a a kind of a bunny rabbit okay with its ears up okay cool yeah nice or if so you turn the your hand, turn one hand sideways right if you're watching you're really getting a lot out of this right now <laughs> if you turn your hand sideways you can really do like michigan right it's sort of like that yeah <laughs> two hands on top of each other yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah so yeah, you're the people. You know in, what's annoying? Yes, what's so that? many people in other states try to make their hand into a state. Mm -hmm. Unacceptable, right? Unacceptable. <laughs> it literally looks like a, a hand with a mitten on it. <laughs> Michiganders get to have it, right? Iowa, stop. Yeah, stop it, Iowa. Please stop it, right? And like South Carolina, what are we doing? You can't do that with Florida. You have to take your pants off to show people where you're from well, in Florida. Yeah. I mean, you can do that. You can do like a, the, the flip of Michigan, uh -huh, I guess. Yeah. But it's a little thick, you know. Uh, yeah. California, what are we doing? I don't know. Yeah. Stop it. Mm -hmm. Let the Michiganders have the hand, please. Or like Nebraska. Right. <laughs> Where are you from in Nebraska? The box, just the, somewhere. No, I'm, I'm framing my shot. I'm just, I'm framing the shot here. <laughs> All right. So yeah, like you were saying, there are places in Michigan, there are places in Wisconsin where the accent sort of bleeds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From it, Canada yeah, to Wisconsin, American, right? For sure. And there's this kind of yeah, this like liminal mm -hmm. space, a, an international border, yep. if you will. Yeah. Where the accents sort of and commingle. Something I found out the other day that I found quite interesting. Uh, not the other day, maybe a few years ago. Um, south, there's a place south of Detroit that is Canada. I mean, yes. If you grew up in Michigan, you, you know that. You would yeah. know that. Yes. Right. There are yes. There are but, yeah. places in Michigan where you drive south to get to, to Canada. get to Canada. Right. Indeed. It's interesting. It's fun. Okay, so here we go. <clears throat> Canadian. 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 Okay. I have a master's in social work. Mm. No. I have a master's in social work, which is proof that I knew how to, that I knew who to waste. Okay, here we go. I have a master's in social work, which is proof that I knew who to waste my money. I don't know what that, I don't <laughs> know what that mess was. <laughs> that was a mess. I should have picked a shorter phrase. That was a mess. <laughs> Not that I'm going to do much better, but that was, that was, <laughs> I have to give it a two because it didn't sound exactly like you, but that was a mess. Hey, hoosers. Okay. Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> Wyatt got his wooden teeth knocked clean out when he, when that old mule kicked him upside the head. Ooh. Okay. That was good. Yeah. I'm going to give it a four though, because the, the, you said out. I said, oot. You sit out. You oh, totally okay. sit out. Wow. <laughs> Here, hit that rewind button once and listen to that again. <laughs> out. It's, a, it's such a great opportunity oot. for oot. 
Well, that's literally why I picked that phrase right. is because it had an out in it. Yeah, here you go. And, that uh, card is yours. You're picking the next one. Up. Did you pick, did you refill your hand? Uh, I did not. Please give me another card. Okay. Oh, I didn't get anything to drink. I am here. Bubbly waterless. Sans wet whistle. <laughs> I'm gonna have to. You have to get one before the next game. Have to game. get one before the next game. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna get one. Here we go. This one's like lingering at the bottom. Valley girl. Valley girl. So a lot of vocal fry. I know, I know what it sounds. No, I'm like. telling the audience this who may like, not know. They know. This is like surfer, but a girl. I yeah, guess. but a, I guess. Yeah, there's definitely not a lot. that a surfer can't be a girl, but <clears throat> I feel like the surfer has very more. Close to yeah, yeah. Each yeah. Other, I feel right? like surfer has more. Well, they're from the same region. Yeah. It's California, but it's like I feel like the surfer is more energetic and definitely a lot more excited and the valley girl is just a little bit more drawn out and obviously higher pitched for some reason yeah <clears throat> and vocal fry. and vocal fry lots of vocal fry uh all right i'm gonna challenge myself with this phrase okay you ready my baby was supposed to visit me from boca but she was concerned about the weather so we sat around doing Bub kiss. That was great. Thank you. Uh, that was sure. That was a five. I'll give it a five. Uh, awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> stop a barking at me, Craig. I just felt your ball five minutes ago. <laughs> I had an actual like Valley Girl one, but I went. <laughs> I went for that. Also, Keurig is a great dog. Keurig name. is a great dog name. That is a great dog name. Yeah. If it's like a brown dog, like a coffee colored uh -huh. dog, great. <laughs> if you have a dog named Keurig, please send us pictures. Yeah, let us know. We will always accept pictures of your dog. I will. Yes. <laughs> we will accept pictures of any dog at any time. Yes, correct. Actual literal dogs. This is not a euphemism for something else. Literal dog pictures. Literal dog pictures. Yeah. Um, what do that you was, say? That was really good. I'll give it Stop a five. Barking. It was good. It was two different types of Valley Girls, but I think we both yeah. did an accurate representation. I did like a share from Clueless kind of right. thing. I did more of a drawn out. Yeah. Sort of you did like tire. a Kardashian kind of right. thing. Right. Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> right. You're like, can yeah. I just finish talking? Right. I've been saying this <laughs> sentence for five minutes. Can I please <laughs> speed it up? Uh, who gets the card if we're tied? Um, neither of us. Okay. We just, uh, we'll just put it, put it in celebrate the celebrate it in the in discard our own pile. Personal yeah. way. Here we go. And oh, pooping. Oh, a pooping. A pooping accent. Pooping accent. Mm. Okay. Again, not really an accent. Sure, not really an accent, but a state of being. The state of being. Yeah. I like if we get one that says unconscious, it would just be. <laughs> <laughs> So just as an FYI, we did edit these oh, cards yeah. somewhat. So if you are interested in this game, it is an 18 above game. Sure. Or so you, you just may, edit it like we did. Yeah. So you may find some phrases mm -hmm. that you may not uh, yeah. want to have around people who are not 18. Right. We also... Just as an FYI. Yeah. And just as a general rule, like we don't like playing or portraying characters of like minorities or people who don't necessarily look like like if we couldn't play them in a movie without minimal makeup we wouldn't be doing these accents yeah we we edited both the accents and uh the phrases uh for pg-13 <laughs> value uh -huh. um so just if if this is a game you are interested in playing on your own time just keep that in mind yeah and again the game is utter nonsense yeah just fyi yeah. utter nonsense all right do you want to go first this time um, oh, I haven't picked it yet. Oh, yes. yeah. Okay, so I'll go. Um, if you haven't picked it, I'll go. Okay. <sighs> Let's get into the mood. Here we go. Honey. Uh, oh, it was fly, coach. <sighs> because it's the best place to <laughs> throw shade. <sighs> oh, God. <laughs> I didn't understand a word that you said except coach and shade. The phrase was honey, I always fly coach because it's the best place to throw shade. Oh. I thought it was about sports. No. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm convinced you actually have taken a poop. So I'm gonna say five. 
<laughs> Thank you. I Thank hope you. we wrap this recording up soon. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I've got I've got one. And honestly, if these thoughts have not gone through your head while you are pooping, mm. are you even pooping correctly? I okay. don't think so. The government knows who killed Kennedy. <laughs> and they know that I know who killed Kennedy. But they can't know that you know that I know that they know. Capiche? <laughs> All right. That was solid. <laughs> no pun intended. Yeah. I'll give you a four. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for that. You're welcome. I think you get that card. Thank you. Yeah. No, you I gave you a five. You gave me a five? Oh, okay. There you go. I'm, I am convinced you have actually pooped. Actually pooped. Let's do okay, one more. Okay, so we've got one more for a tiebreaker. Sure, let's do Yeah, because right. Dash, Dash is, what do you Ooh, have? Pooping sing. and surfer. Yeah. And I, have... I am Canadian. I'm a Canadian Italian, I guess. Yeah. All right. We have Sing. Sing. <laughs> okay so this is i'm gonna i picked a phrase this is something i would actually yeah. sing okay go ahead because i i in my daily life i will like if i am overcome with emotion i will just like instead of saying a thing mm -hmm. i will sing it like i'm in a musical sure um so this is something i would actually say All right, back, back up off the mic a little bit if you're gonna get louder <laughs> the best part about free samples is that they aren't even real calories <laughs> <laughs> to the tune of folgers, folgers in your cup and our favorite pseudo incestuous commercial <laughs> It is it is of a time that can I tell you that I was very upset that I didn't see it this year because like who watches TV with commercials anymore and like they they just didn't show it this year maybe the internet finally got to them and they were like oh yeah it was a little awkward <laughs> There's maybe, vibes in this commercial. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't show intend. this commercial anymore. If you don't know what we're talking about, I highly invite you to finish watching this episode of Play Day with Dash and Allie and then look up Folger's brother sister commercial. And you'll it's see what old, we're talking though. about. It's a really old commercial. It was on when I was a kid. It, oh yeah, it was on when I was a kid too. But yeah. still, it was it was it was out of vibe. And I think it was Saturday Night Live who like or College Humor who like extended it. There was, yes, there was a send up of it <laughs> recently. And I think it was me seeing the send up where I was yeah. like, oh, oh shoot, I right. remember that commercial. And then I went back and watched <clears throat> the commercial and I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. Like all they really did was extend some of the pauses vibes, a little uh, bit more and like vibes, yeah. extend some of the looks that they gave each other. But, but that's really all they did. And everything else was just super, uh, yeah, vibe. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Did you Sing. give me a grade? Uh, I did not. Uh, that was you a four. You forgot it because you were talking about the, the Folgers commercial. Yes, it was it a was four. It was definitely a five. Okay. It was a four. <clears throat> it was definitely a five. Now, see, but now I can't get the tune of the Folgers commercial out of my head. The best part of waking <laughs> up is Folgers in your cup. Sponsor us. Okay. Uh, here we go. Aster and Rose were such great friends. But sadly, their differences over hard versus soft boiled eggs led to their demise. That really could be a folk song. <laughs> like, it really could be the epic of what is it, Ethel and Rose? Right, yeah. The epic of mm -hmm. Ethel and Rose and their differences. In opinion over hard, hard and soft boiled, boiled eggs, eggs yeah. yeah. And, you know, their husbands go off to war and they. <laughs> I mean, and they finally come together. Wait, over isn't it. Ethel and Rose the yes. name of our characters? Yes. That's amazing. Yes. The people don't know that. No, they, they don't, don't know. Folks, allow us to let you into the curtain a little bit here. So one of the, so uh, as you know, Allie and I do improv and we've also branched off. we do? We do sometimes. Oh gosh, yes. Wait. Allie and I do improv, which you can find everywhere online if you look up Dash and Allie. Um, or punctuation marks, which is our duo name. But we also have one that we developed during the pandemic where we are two old ladies crocheting mm -hmm. and doing improv around that scenario. Right. But and like, we each have characters that we... Yes. We're always the same characters in this right. scenario. It's really fun because we're just sitting there crocheting, but we're doing improv. And, and Dash 
fully has a beard <laughs> and wears a muumuu. So right. it's truly a yeah. sight to We behold. both dress up like little old ladies. It's it's actually pretty funny. You can look it up. Uh, we called it uh, Old Hooker's Social Club. Yes. I yeah. think there's a couple videos on our YouTube. Yeah, there are a couple videos on our YouTube. So if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, those videos are also there for you to enjoy. Yeah. Old Hooker Social Club. Go yeah. check it out. We need to bring them back. We I just do. found my costume oh, the I other love day. Them. Um, all right. <clears throat> So what do you give me? I give you a five. I would li- I would listen to that song. I would listen to five <laughs> verses of that song. I would listen to three bridges, Yay. eight choruses. I'm I'm into it. I'm very awesome. into that song. Yay! That means I win. That means you win. Yay! I win one. That's great. Okay. So uh, so this was utter nonsense. Yeah. Uh, let's rate the game. Yes. Let's rate the game. Uh, so, so first is the box. One, one treat I want to show you about the box. Okay. Is if you. Open it slowly. The men, <laughs> the men are daffy ducking. Oh, that's so great! So they have clothes on the top, but none on the bottom. But none on the bottom. Oh yeah, yeah. Go check it out on our Instagram yeah. at Society Circus. And on the side of the box, it says, "What is a shirt cocker? Shirt cocker, one who wears a shirt but no pants or undergarments, likely oh. because pants were misplaced in a pants off party. Famous shirt cockers." Donald Duck, Lady Gaga, Winnie the Pooh, Burning Man attendees, Tom Cruise, and Risky <laughs> Business. Wait, is there a comma after Tom Cruise? Well, yeah, I guess. Because it says Burning Man attendees. Comma. Comma, Tom Cruise. In Risky in Business. In Risky Business, okay. Yeah. So there's humor in the box. We have a nice Made in the USA like sticker. Um, the rules are right on the box itself. Oh, nice. Which I I like. appreciate that, yeah. Um. I like that you pick it up and it reveals like a little secret. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to give this box one of those pens that you buy on a road trip from a gas station uh-huh. where you turn it upside down and the lady's bikini goes on. Sure, yeah. And then you turn it right side up and her bikini falls off. Perfect. I, I, I actually, concur. it's probably the opposite. Her, her bikini is on and then you turn it upside down and her, and bikini, her bikini comes, comes off. off. Right. Yeah. So I'm going to give that for this box. Yeah. Yeah. I, I concur. I concur. Uh, as far as the pieces, the cards the are, cards. they're, they're glossy playing cards, essentially. Um, they're matte, aren't they? No, they're not matte. They're glossy. Okay. You know, um, I know. I don't. Yeah. It's a semi-gloss, okay. but yeah, it's still gloss. Um, it's got, uh, it's got the graphic on the side of, it's like that old, old timey lithograph yeah. type design. The art's pretty cool. Yeah. I like that they're clearly labeled accents versus phrases. Mm-hmm. They're two different colors, so it's easy to yeah. like sort through them if that's what you want to yeah. do. Uh, so I'll give this a, uh, I'll, I'll rate this a uh, set of bicycle playing cards. Like novelty bicycle playing cards. Where they're like not a, like full on quality like cus- bicycle playing yeah, cards. Like yeah, like a custom deck of novelty sure. playing cards that you might get at someone's like wedding. Yes, right? there we Like go. they yeah. gave playing cards mm-hmm, their, mm-hmm. themselves which i totally wedding. want to do at my wedding I'm that totally would be actually a cards. pretty cool wedding gift uh-huh um i just thought about that yeah you're welcome anyone who's we've given playing cards there. to our friends the scp playing cards yeah. yeah yeah if you want some scp playing cards hit us up <laughs> um playability it's very easy to play just like i don't know i think you would have to play it with a certain group, mm. right? Like you, think you can't it's just bust we're us? this out. Yeah, it's because we're us. You can't just bust this out at any old game night. People okay. are going to be embarrassed and they don't want to talk. They just want to like Fair. move the piece around Fair. the board or whatever. Yeah. So I feel like it's um definitely with people who are comfortable with each other. Yeah, I feel like it's a varsity mm. basketball team. Okay. It's not JV where like maybe you're good or maybe you're not mm-hmm. good and maybe you're just there because you like want to have some exercise right. and hang out with your friends or like you're the water boy or whatever. Um, it's like varsity okay. sports. Okay. Some level. experience. Yeah. And fun. I had a good time. Um, but I think again, you would have to play it with the right crowd. Yeah. Like you, you can't just bust it out mm-hmm. at any, mm-hmm. any old game night. It has to be people who are willing to be silly mm-hmm. and say silly things yeah. and, and do that sort of stuff. Fair. I, I, yeah, I had a good time. I had a, I would rate it as, um, learning all the dialogue from your favorite comedy movie level of fun <laughs> and like repeating it with your okay. friend. All right. Right. Like you learn a funny yeah. scene and then you just do it back and forth as fun. That's, Cause you both that's know the it. level of yeah. fun. Right. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. That's what I think. All right. That was utter nonsense by utter nonsense. Head over to utter nonsense.com. I believe uh, it's on the side. It's on the side. Yep. Utter nonsense game.com. 
and and say some nonsensical things. Yeah. And we'll catch you next time. Bye. Bye. Thanks for listening, everyone. Now we'd love to hear from you. You can visit playdatepod.us to watch our videos, access our episode library, find out more about our brand of quality, clean comedy, and contact us with any questions or comments. Improvisers love audience suggestions, so make sure you visit playdatepod.us. And the podcast you just heard was a production of Society Circus Players. If you like what you heard today, please rate, review, subscribe, and share it with a friend. And finally... If life's a circus, we're, we're the, the clowns. clowns. I'm sweating. This is an unusual experience. I know. I'm dying. It's so hot. It's a very unusual experience <laughs> for me. I can't. The sacrifices we make for the ghosties. Oh, I, mean, I know. Truly. You don't realize like how hot it gets in this room with all the lights when there's no air conditioning. Exactly. <laughs> I hope you get it fixed soon. I know. Me too. <laughs>